Within this video, we're going to cover the basics of using the chaos system here inside of the Unreal Engine. We're also going to be covering how to actually change the materials on the inside and the outside of these as well. So as a quick example of what we're going to be doing here, I'm going to just right click, say play from here, and our three little cylinders will drop because of gravity and crack when they actually hit the ground. So let's go ahead and talk about how we actually make this happen. To begin, you're obviously going to want a static mesh that you're going to want to be able to break up. Now you can, of course, import your own. I'm going to go ahead and use the pieces that are here inside of the Unreal Engine. So to do that, I'm going to come up here into my Place Actors, this little button up here in the top left, and come down here into Shapes. Go ahead and choose the cylinder right here. So I'll just click and drag this into my world and just lift it up so it's a little bit off the ground. From here, we want to go ahead and open up the Fracture mode. So up here in the top left-hand corner, you can find our different modes. So we'll just click on this drop-down, go ahead and choose the Fracture mode. So this one right here. Next is kind of important because we want to go ahead and do this in a specific order. So first, we want to make sure that we have our object selected, our static mesh. And then next, we're going to go ahead and press the New button up here in the top left under Generate. So we'll click on that. And it's going to say, where do you actually want to save this? Now, you'll get a geometry collection folder automatically, so we'll just go ahead and save it in there. Go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this as default. And then just click the Create Geometry Collection button down here at the very bottom. So now that our geometry collection is actually created, we're going to want to go ahead and fracture it. To do that, we're going to go ahead and use this little section of our menu right here where it says Fracture. And I'm going to go ahead and just use the simple basic one, our uniform. Go ahead and play with the rest of these. There's actually some really cool features in here. So with this one selected, I'm going to go ahead and click on the uniform button. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this like so. And you'll notice we get a whole bunch of cracks in here. And we can actually control these cracks. And let me open up this a little bit farther so you can actually see where I'm going to be playing with. And it's this one right here. So this uniform Veronoi. So we have a max and a min value in here. And we can go ahead and play with these. Now, if we set this to, by the way, one and one, you actually won't get any fractures because we're just getting one piece out of this. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set this to three and three. So I get three pieces. Also, by the way, if you move it around, you'll get a different kind of random fracture. So you can kind of play with that if you wish. So with this all set up, all I need to do now is go ahead and click on the fracture button. So we'll go ahead and click that and it goes ahead and fractures it. Now, let's take a moment and look at what's actually happened. So if we look right here, we'll notice that we have two different levels. Level zero, which has one piece to it and level one, which has three pieces in it. And those individual three pieces, we can actually see up here, which is really kind of cool. So let's take this just a step farther. I'm going to go ahead and select just the third piece, and I'm going to go ahead and reset my min and my max over here. So these guys. So I'll reset those back to 20. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Fracture again. Now check this out. Let's go ahead and open this up. And you can see that this third piece is now fractured into a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. That's kind of cool. So with this all set up, let's go ahead and test this and see how it reacts. So to do that, let's go ahead and leave our fracture mode. We will no longer need this. Go ahead and just go back into our select mode. And I'm going to back up a little bit. And I don't like the material that's on this. It looks kind of weird, right? Like that's no fun. And that could actually be changed down here inside of my details. So if I do a search right here for bone, we have a little checkbox that says show bone colors. I'm just going to turn that off. There we go. So now we have our basic material and we'll be talking about materials in a minute. So let's go ahead and lift this straight up. And I do want to go ahead and kind of rotate this a little bit so it hits its edge. So that'll work a little bit better. So now if I go ahead and just right click right here and say play from here, this thing will fall. Boom. There you go. And you can see that it cracks into those and then cracks into even more. So yay, that's kind of fun, right? So let's go ahead and hit escape and drop out of that. So the last thing that I want to talk about is changing the different materials on this. And changing the materials on one of these is actually really, really easy. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and clear our search right here because we don't need bone. And what I'm looking for is the material section. And you'll notice that we have three of them in here. So one is the inside, the other is the outside, and the last one is what the bone color looks like. So element zero, this is your outside, and then your element one, this is your inside. So I've already got a couple of materials all set up, so I'm gonna go and just change them to be red and blue respectively. So we'll click here, go ahead and change this to my red. There we go, you can see the outside is now red, and then the inside will change this one to blue, like so. Now, just to make this a little bit more interesting, let's go ahead and duplicate this. So with my move tool active, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, and I'm gonna click and drag. Now, I do also wanna lift these further up off of the ground, so about there-ish, so perfect. Now, if we go ahead and do a play here, we'll right click and choose play from here, boom, you can see them all shatter. The insides are blue and the outsides are red. 
So now you know how to use the basics of the chaos system here inside of Unreal Engine 5. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I can.